I hope you're well. Thank you for joining me. Uh, today is Tuesday morning and we are in Fly Lady Zone 3. Fly Lady Zone 3 is the bathroom and any other room. So today I'm taking the widest definition possible of any other room and I'm coming to you from the lower half of my garden from my summer house and my second patio which is right at the bottom of the property and the reason I'm coming to you from here today is that I needed to do an outdoor job today because today is the only day for the next two weeks in the UK that is forecasted to be dry so every other day we're gonna have rain so I need to get this outdoor job done and it needs to be today um, what I'm going to do is move the furniture and the fire pit behind me up to our top patio up at the house. So moving things from this low garden patio up to the top because in the summer we typically have wooden furniture up on the top patio. That's all been put away uh, for the winter. So we need some furniture up there and this is um, a cast iron fire pit set. So that's going to move to the top patio. And it's very good timing because we often do in the UK bonfires for Halloween and we also have bonfire night coming up which is the 5th of November and you always light a bonfire for that one but it's also my birthday so it will be really nice to have the fire pit up on the top patio so that we can use it a little bit more throughout the winter so that's enough of me talking this is a big job got my trusty timer I'm gonna set it for 10 minutes because to be honest I'm not feeling so great today and this is quite physical this stuff is heavy so I don't know how I'm gonna get on with it but we'll start with 10 and see how we go and we're off <clears throat> One down, ready to go. Two to go. And this is the last chair. I put 10 minutes on the clock and we still have more than seven minutes left. So that was just three minutes to move three chairs. Here's the fourth one.
chairs and pat yourself on the back. I hope you've been working along with me and not just uh, mindfully watching the garden here. Let's see, okay, it's been raining, so this wooden top is swollen, which means I can't actually pull that out and it's very heavy. So I think I will leave this bit for my husband to help me with when he needs help. Um, there's no reason to cause myself an injury if I don't need to. My husband can help me um, lift that heavy fire pit when he gets home from work. He'll be home later today. But at least we've got the chairs done, so if the kids want to sit outside while it's not raining, we've got some chairs up on the top patio. This is, we've got a lot of birds down here today. The birds are are all over the place down here. We've got magpies. Yeah, magpies is mostly what I'm seeing here. And um, we're kind of coming to the end of summer, right? So we're closing down this part of the garden and so it may be the last time you'll see us down here for a little while. I'm gonna have to cut down these um, pennants that we put up for my, sis my sister, my daughter's birthday party. We put up all these banners for her birthday and had a little party down here. We had a magician and things like that, that set up down here and the summer house was open for the kids to sort of run in and out and they had a really nice time. And they all sat here on this patio and watched the magician. But, you know, this part of the garden we don't use too much in the winter. So, uh, making sure everything's secure, stored up nicely. We get really high winds. so. You can see behind me, those are our, and not all of them, we have quite a few. I can give you a little look at the garden, actually. These are our fern trees. So we have those two, and then we have another set of them here. We have three more, if they're in the shot, if you can see them. We have, we have three more there. Um, and all of these have to be winterized. All of those have to be, sorry for the moving, all of those have to be winterized. So we will um, do another job down here, probably when the rain stops. So you wanna do it before any hard frost comes. Um, and we'll cut the fronds off and then wrap the top of the trunks in some uh, anti-frost netting. So that'll be, and then that'll be, really that's the main winter job that we have to do in the garden in terms of our plants. But uh, really happy to get most of the fire pit moved up to the top garden. Um, there's a little look at the summer house. And yeah, so it's the only dry day we're gonna have for the next two weeks. So I thought doing an outdoor job today made a lot of sense. I'm also gonna hang, I have my load of laundry in right now. I'm also gonna hang the laundry out but just to give you a sense of the garden it's very long and so there's the house you can see we have this kind of gateway that goes through to the top garden which is a lawn up to the house there's the chairs that I brought up to the house and those are the back doors that you see from inside but right now I'm in the bottom garden and just getting it closed up for winter well I hope you have a great day working in Fly Lady Zone 3, which is your bathroom and any other room. I've taken the broadest definition of any other room to include my summer house, my patio, my garden, etc. You should do that too. So if you have an outhouse, if you have shed buildings, whatever it is that you need to do, your other rooms come into this week, Zone 3. Okay, uh, sorry having you looking at my water hose there, but uh, thank you very much and bye-bye.